Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today I am finally doing the much requested crochet hook video to give you guys a run through of the crochet hooks that I have purchased and you see frequently in my videos. I have a favorite and we'll talk about that as we jump in. I do want to remind everybody that the majority of these hooks, everything back here, they are handmade. This is a work of art. This is something they spend their time doing as a way to make a living or a side income. So I really want everyone to be mindful of that, that this is handmade, not mass produced. So therefore, these hooks do cost more than your typical hook. I do fully understand that everyone likes to spend their money differently. And I just ask you to kind of keep in mind, for me, this is where I want to spend my money. And if you disagree, if you think that old style crochet hook, $5 or less, couple bucks, those are the way to go, then by all means for you, you can do that. So I have carpal tunnel and arthritis already, pre-existing condition before I ever started this channel. I work full time in an office typing. And because I've started this channel, I'm now spending a lot more time in long periods of crocheting and additional computer time and cell phone time in doing these tutorials that I put out every week. So I have a different and unique situation that warranted in my mind for me to try out larger styles and different hooks that it would help me be able to continue to crochet. And I have found that in these hooks. But I will never tell you that any of the original style hooks are no good or anything like that. If you like this style, any of these cheaper ones or less expensive, I should say, there's nothing wrong with these hooks at all. And I won't get rid of my collection that I have built up of these over the years. I can't use these type of hooks and not have excruciating pain. And I'm really trying to avoid taking Tylenol on a leave and things like that every single day of my life. So please just be mindful that this mass produced is always going to be cheaper than something that is handmade or custom made. So keep that in mind. I'm going to start off by talking about the furls hook. I bought two furls hooks a year ago almost now. I believe June will make it a year and we're right around the corner from that. So a few weeks away. So I bought two furls odyssey hooks and I was using them exclusively at the two month mark of using only the Furls Odyssey hooks, I did a review. And I will link that down below as well if you wanna see that review. Four more months passed and I was using exclusively the Furls, you'll see this one, and the turquoise handled one, it's like a brighter blue. I used them exclusively for six months. I started having a lot more problems with my thumb to the point where it was almost impossible for me to crochet for any length of time within five minutes the pain would go down here the pain that I'm having for my arthritis and carpal tunnel is every single knuckle and I'm double jointed and it radiates into the wrist the actual wrist that hurts all the way up to the elbow using this made it worse for me I started trying to do knife hold which I'm slower at I can do it but I'm just slower so I started knife holding to see if that would help. There's a lot that can be said about these that is good. But for me, these became a source of pain. I can use them now and still do occasionally use them. I just can't use them day after day after day. I am having to crochet every single day to keep things coming out on this channel. So I needed something else. And that is where the other hooks back here come into play. I first started buying the Nelson Wood hooks. So that is these hooks right here. This entire section, total of eight hooks in front of you. There are four different types here, I believe. So we have his flower series. This is that's this particular hook right here. These are limited edition. These are on the higher end of the crochet hooks. This is star flowers, blush star flowers trapped inside the acrylic or resin or whatever it is so they're super super pretty though i really love them i think they're gorgeous these are by far my favorite and they are the most comfortable these two that i have in my hand right now these are typically 105 dollars a piece 
Now he does run sales and these are just my all time favorite. And you see these Nelson wood hooks a lot in my videos. And I'm just going to run through the four different types. So these are the most expensive ones that I own. Like I said, they start around $105. He does run sales though. The feather and uh, flower series is brand new. That's something he's doing and putting out limited runs, different colors and all that. I believe what I have here is straw flower, if I remember correctly, with um, the feather. And it's just gorgeous. There is blood wood ends on mine. As you can see, the end down here, this is wood. This is aluminite or lumalite, something like that. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but if you look on his website, you'll see. So that's in the center here. And then blood wood end again here at this side. These are perfect. I mean, I am not a Bates hookhead, inline hookhead fan up until I got these hooks. That has changed it for me. I still do not like the Bates, Susan Bates metal crochet hooks that I have. I have a few of those, a few different sizes. I still split yarn like crazy with those, but I don't do that with these wood hooks from Nelson Wood. So I don't know what it is about them. I absolutely love them though. And this is the primary focus of my collection. I'm rewarding myself monthly by purchasing one of these from any of the lines that he has. So I'm going to move on to the next style that he has. These are in the $50 range as of this filming. Uh, these are the metal tipped crochet hooks. So you have in this case right here, this is tulip wood. It is absolutely stunning and it has an aluminum. You can choose Bates or Boy as aluminum boy hook, which is the tapered on this one. And it's nice and long. I love it absolutely everything about it gorgeous hook this is steel boy hook and i absolutely love this one as well so those are in the 50 dollars range though the next body style that you have with him is your solid body so i have three of the solid wood body crochet hooks and we'll go over the wood types real quick because that's the biggest thing for me is i'm like Trying to collect the different types of wood. <laughs> these are so comfortable. Um, these are really helping me. I mean, it's amazing what something like this can do when you're having a lot of problems. You know, it really is. So this particular wood right here is Bloodwood. That is one of my favorites. From the moment I went on his site, I knew that I would eventually be getting one of these Bloodwood handled ones or you know hooks because the wood just i mean it's gorgeous i love 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 how it looks so bloodwood and the solid body and we have kingwood which i've used this one recently in a tutorial it's very 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 beautiful hopefully it's going to focus where you guys can see and then last but not least, I have African Blackwood. So it looks black, but when the light hits it, natural light especially just sets this thing off. It reminds me of like a cat's eye stone or something. I mean, it's just bam, gorgeous and beautiful. So I really, really like these. And then last but not least, we have the combination wood hook. So this is taking two different woods and putting them together. And I absolutely love this one. So both of these are the same wood. The center is the same wood. So as you can see, because it's wood and it's hand turned, you know, he's turning it and creating these different woods that are the same wood species will come out completely different. So this was purchased you know, for the very first one I ever purchased. And then, you know, a couple months later, I purchased this one. So you can just see the difference. You're never going to have two that are exactly alike. Now, you can purchase, like, hook sets from him as well. Those are obviously well worth it. And I'm sure when you're doing a set all at once, you're going to have a lot more consistency with the wood because he's going to be picking the wood all at the same time. Now, I just wanted to point out blood wood with blood wood. So you get different tones of blood wood. I don't know if it's going to show on camera, 
This one is a lot more red than this one, but I can still tell that this is Bloodwood. But there are differences in the tone. These were ordered months apart. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I don't think I said this on the Starflower. This is Gabon Ebony. Again, could be saying that wrong, but it's Gabon Ebony wood ends on here. Absolutely beautiful. So this is just a black, solid black. There's really no, you know, difference in it. It's black all the way around. So love, love, love. So newest to my collection are these right here. These are Touche Crochet Etsy sellers. So you can find these on Etsy. I'll link it down below. These are wood here. Absolutely love this. It's so comfortable. Comfortable for the pencil hold and comfortable for you knife holders. This has a clover head on it. So does this one right here. So this is a clover hook head. You just go on our Etsy shop and you can see what's available and the color combinations that she's done and you order and she ships same day. This was amazingly fast getting here. But just in general, what they're doing is just phenomenal and beautiful. So I have this one and this one, which are both the same style handle. And she has other handles as well. So other styles. And I got this one, which is a lot larger than these. I really, I love the larger handle styles. I just do. That just for me is so much more comfortable than the smaller stuff. And I like them because I use a lot of small hooks. So having such a large handle really does help me out. And this one right here has a red heart crochet hook head on it. I didn't even know red heart made crochet hooks, but it's a metal hook. It's just, you know, not shiny and very, very, very nicely made. And I do want to show you guys they are marked and this is sealed in. So this is not going to scratch off like I cannot. I cannot feel that with my nail or anything. So that is a really great feature. So I've played with all of these, love them all. Last, but certainly not least, we have My Darn Yarn Crochet Hooks, another Etsy seller. She has some ready to ship as well. So, I mean, obviously ready to ship is gonna be your quickest to get it in your hands. I did specific, when I ordered these, it did take six weeks for them to come in, which is disclosed there on her Etsy shop. But I was ordering, you know, a specific size with a specific handle style and everything. I believe she has a total of five handle styles to choose from. So this one dips in right here. This one is just tapering down, but no dips. So hopefully you guys can see the difference between the two, but she has... Several styles. You can get boy, baits, or clover for your hook head. And these are very, very comfortable. As you can see, they're marked. But I've had these for quite some time now. So all of these hooks, you guys may not see them all on camera frequently, but they're all in the rotation. This is neon watercolor, and I forget. This one was beachcomber or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but gorgeous. I kind of see this one. See how that is. I mean, they're gorgeous. And it's just a different experience crocheting with something. Highly recommend. I will link the shops or websites down below in the description. My Darn Yarn, super sweet. She and her husband started this Etsy shop. And then they eventually got into doing the crochet hooks because just like so many of us, she started having problems with her hands and wanted to see what they could come up with together in order to help with that. So that's where these come into play. You might find your new favorite. Um, I can say also about all these hooks that are, you know, I've been showing in this video. All of these are made in the USA. They're individual sellers and small businesses. So if you're interested in any of these crochet hooks, look down in the description for the links. You, of course, can also Google search these guys. They're not sponsored, not affiliated. Will not change anything for me if you go buy these hooks. But for those of you who are looking for something different, whether it be to help you with your carpal tunnel, arthritis, 
or you just want a pretty hook because you just want pretty tools, then these are all options for you. And there's lots out there. If you know of any others, you can always feel free to leave a comment down below. If you know of any, please leave a link. I will definitely check them out. Until next time, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Bye for now.